Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bard here. We got Red Breast, Ooh, New Style Edition. New Style. And some glasses. Let's test it. Test it! Irish Style. <laughs> This one's been on our shelf for a while, sitting back here. Yeah, By a while, dusty. I mean probably a year. Dusty. And I think my wife might have enjoyed this because it seems lower right. than what I remember. Yeah, but surely yeah. it wasn't me. Probably the wife. Right? I think the wife's sneaking down because she the loves boys. the Irish whiskey. Yeah, the boys, the 12. The 11-year-old was like, Dad, I love me that orange box to the style. <laughs> We're like, boy. No, trust me. He, he doesn't even like beer. I let him sip beer once. He's like, ugh, ugh. So that's not happening. The Lestau edition. This one also made a little cameo when I did the uh, the uh, family public apology on my pronunciations. I had not pronounced this wrong, but it was perfect to get in there because it's spelled like Lestau. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it went on. It went on as the red breast Lestau. So of course it's Lestau. Maybe we're still not pronouncing that perfectly. Like I had that. a uh, I had a Scotch God comment pulled up, but then I got to thinking this might air after the Pete shootout. After, mm. the, after, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to be filming. So this one's pre-recorded. We're yes. going to be filming the Pete the uh, Pete Strikes Back. I couldn't think of the name of it. I'm going to give you a pass because we, we've named the first the Pete <laughs> for the first one we did was March Pete Madness. Right now, the second sixteen bottle shootout we've coined. The Pete, Pete Strikes, Strikes Back. Back. All uh, Star Wars. Is that too much? I think it's too much. The third one, which is going to combine the best of both yeah, brackets. The Elite Eight in both brackets. Is going to become Make America Pete It Again. But anyway, Everwind <laughs> commented after March Pete Madness. Mm. He said, What would have been fun if you guys had predicted a winner, put it in a sealed envelope, and then revealed that with the actual winner? Great fun, guys. I'm sure you would have never believed that Glenn Livett would have made it to the final four. And that's the Glenlivet Nadura Pita, which made it to my final four. Right. Yeah. So. my uh, The surprise for me in that first one was that Kilhoman made it to the final four. And that Ardbeg did well. Uh, but, yeah, in yours. Yeah, in mine. I was turned out because I, I would have been in the Lefroy camp. And it turned out I'm secretly in the Ardbeg camp. All right. Now, talk. okay, we're, so we're this is Irish. non-chill filtered bottle yes. at 46%. Mm. F sherry finished. Oh, so yeah. they're right there on the label. Right sherry in your, finished. That's your wheelhouse. Got a nose tickle going. Now, I bought this last year in Dallas because it was not in our area. Right. And I paid $55 for it. Steal. Now, the only reason I'm bringing that up because it just showed up here, $85. Oh, what? I know. What? Yeah. Mm. I was like, no way. That was $55 before. On wow. our glasses, yeah. Let's talk about our glasses real quick. How do you, now, I'm, I mispronounce every time. Well, it looks like two off, right? But it's two ah, two ah, two ah. Yeah, the, the th on the end is silent. These are actual Irish whiskey glasses. Yep. So we decided to do red breast with them, capturing in a single glass the generosity of spirit of the Irish. Yep. Love that. Now these are available at CelticWhiskeyDublin.com. We'll put a link in the description. And I don't know, actually, I don't know if they're shipping worldwide though. Okay. Um, they saw we did a live show with mark gillespie after we had john glazer on the show from compass box mm -hmm. via phone via phone we talked to him then we went live afterwards with mark gillespie for a little right. bit mark was using one of these and they that they had just sent him to review yes. as well and we asked we we're like what kind of glass is that it's fancy yeah and they happened to see that show and they were like well dummies it's this glass yeah they reached Boom. out and they said hey well uh, we watched your show with mark gillespie loved it would you guys like some review of our glasses. Set. Yeah, now, now they didn't just send us a set for review. What else did they send with it? A pair to give away. Woo! So this is another giveaway. And baby. Well, uh, we might baby. depends on who's editing this one. We might put in some pictures of the glasses so you can see them. Seemed like a backhanded uh, non compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you didn't. Who? Could have been anybody. Could have been anybody <laughs> that you were referencing. It real, uh, grab a Glen Cairn though, just to go. So, I will. So, There's so, our Glen Cairn with our lovely logo on it. I mean, real similar in size, a little bit a little bigger, a little bit bigger. It's heftier. It's flared at the lip. Big flare. Yeah. Big flare. <laughs> now what I like, and I it took my wife telling me this. She's it's, smart. It's notched at the bottom. Yeah. And I said, I don't know what that notch is for. It's a gripper. 
Yeah, she goes, well, so you can put your finger through there and hold it. Kind of right. like a cognac glass. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, that's neat. I like it. And actually, it holds real well like that. Now, the only thing I'm going to say, and, and you don't feel this at all, and you, you called me weak. Yeah. Is there is like a lip, a small glass ledge that runs along the bottom of this. It is small, but it rubs the sensitive part of my inner finger. And I, and I find it uncomfortable when I grip it that way. So I ended up doing some kind of glass grip like this to avoid it. And well, you then can hold it that way. You can hold it any way you wish. But I want, to, I want to hold it with my thumb down here. But it's not smooth on the bottom. That's my only criticism. It's got a ledge. I didn't even notice it till you pointed it out. I know. It's kind of like when you have a small, little, tiny, little pebble that gets in your shoe. And you're like, my goodness, I got a boulder in there. And then you take your shoe off and you're like, that was it? That little tiny thing was irritating my foot? Same deal. Same deal. Small, but I feel it and it and it hits the... You said it's a good thing I'm not a roughneck on an oil rig hmm. or something like that. <laughs> good thing you don't do manual labor. Yes. And I said, you're right. Oh, I've used it for two nights. I never even noticed. You've, you've got stronger hands. Your hands are manly. Mine are sensitive. <laughs> Dad grew up on a farm, and I once said, Dad, why didn't you stay on the farm? He said, it's hard work. <laughs> he goes, why do you think I got a degree? And then went on to further education. So he never had to work on the farm again. I'm like, got it. He did not have to tell me to go to school. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Woo! Claire the Third loved that little that little back and forth we just had. Now, I will tell you, the, the, the glasses look very good, and they do photograph very well. Also, I took a photograph right away as soon as I got them and posted it They've on Instagram. They've got nice angles. Yeah. The glass is a little thicker than a Glen Cairn, like the the thickness of them. Is it? Yeah. I was looking at it, and then I pulled the base in. Is, the base is definitely yeah. thick and well-made. Well, then I even pulled in my, uh, my Riedel oh, cognac yeah. glass, oh, yeah. and you can just see the thickness. They still have a nice... Mm -hmm. Everything goes nice, but yeah, they're a little, little thicker around the, the glass here as well. All right. So they nose well, although you did find out the coins. Do we have any coins for the show? All right. We're back. 82. 83. <laughs> we had everything else. Everything else was here. Now, Scotch so, God comment, traveling oh, dummy, yeah. water, glasses. They sink whiskey. down in a little bit. Yep, but they, they won't fall in. They don't fall in. They and they kind work. of actually, look how you tip it. They just yep. fall in to covering. And they kind of sit almost flush. That part I actually really like. No, so they don't sit on top. And at first I thought, man, am I going to be able to get it out? Mm -hmm. Will it get stuck? Nope. You hit it like a little flange and it just comes up. And they sit in nicely. That would be great presentation wouldn't you want to go to a tasting where there's just like 50 glasses out these these lovely irish glasses with dummy coins whiskey hats all right what do you got on the nose my brother a very light sweet sherry yes vanilla cream mm. caramel molasses wow see I, mean, I was thinking marshmallow cream it's got it, that puffy kind of sweet marshmallow almost a little bit of a rum Almost mm. nose. Well, that, maybe that's your molasses kicking mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Very sweet, though. Ah, honey. Mmm. Yes. Light berries. Light berries? I don't know mm. about light berries. Mm -hmm. Ras you mean light? Raspberries. <laughs> blueberries. <laughs> Small berries. Mm. How's that? Tiny little berries. Mmm. Mmm. All right. I'll have to come back to the very first, but in the middle, I've got a beautiful malty toasted mm. Mm. toastedness. And then I'm going to have to come back to that because then in the finish, the sherry shines through. Yeah. Very lightly, but I mean, it's, it's there. It's prominent. The sherry, it's not necessarily, you know, a glendronic harsh, mm. or not harsh, but uh, bomb. Bomb. Sherry right. bomb. Right. Nice, light, sherry finish, honeys, mm. berries. And it lingers. It's that, turned into a buttered caramel. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. And Honeycomb. Light. It's got a it's surely triple distilled, right? Should be. Yeah, should be triple distilled, does it say? I would imagine. I'm going to just, I don't see where it says it, but it's got to be. It's that smooth. It's that smooth Irish feel. I get almost a little bit of the toasted barrel. Mm. Just a little bit of a barrel char as well. Powdered sugar. Caramel cream. Mm. On the very front is where I get that powdered sugar sweetness, that slight astringent dryness. That's when it then moves into the malty goodness, the rich malted. And then that sherry finish just rolls in. So it's got a, a nice triple transition for me. Lemongrass. Mm. That's kind of the maltiness that I get. Mm. Beautiful, light, and smooth. Mm. Now I got to say on the glass too. Uh, yeah, give me just one drop. All right. I got to say on the glass as well. <clears throat> the way it flares out, it does meet your lip. And then there's something, especially with me, yeah, especially with me, is I got a big, <clears throat> big schnoz here, big nose. And a lot of times my nose will hit the glass like a Glen Karen. Here it kind of dips in a little bit and it and allows me to tip. Usually I got to get my head way back. Not so much with this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So look, if I'm sipping from this. Mm -hmm. I'm back here and it's all up in my nose, mm. bumping my nose. A little, little black pepper. Mm. I just got that caramel cream again. Mm -hmm. mm. Milk chocolate. Mm. What's the um, the Spanish? They've got like a chocolate syrup. That's called. Um, we've bought it. I can't think of what it's called. Chocolate syrup. Mm. For ice cream mm -hmm. and milk. Mm. Can't remember what it's called. The only thing but it's like a really light creamy which is not it, is chocolate. Ovaltine. <laughs> no, not Ovaltine. <laughs> Ovaltine. Cocoa. 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 Or Nutella. Nutella is more of the uh the that's a nut though. That's the spread. That's hazelnut. Is hazelnut, hazelnut? Yes, hazelnut with cocoa. I don't even have my iPad out here for my score. Unbelievable. I'm going with a 90. You are not prepared. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna ring in right with the 90 with you. I love the transitions. Uh, beautiful, light, mm -hmm. sherry berry coming through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, caramels, vanillas. Yeah. So is it worth it? Yeah. At 55. Oh, it's a steal. Definitely. Steal. 85. Man, 55, yes. The sheer fact I, that you got it for 55 and now it's 85 makes me wonder if it's just the taxation or did it really go up because of the demand? Everybody loved it and they're like, we need to up the price. I don't know. For 55, I'd buy two or three of these. Mm -hmm. Boom. I think it's still worth 85, but yeah, 55 is definitely a lot lot better. Oh. I mean, uh, the 12, Red Breast 12 cast strength is $85. Uh, very good as well. Right. The Red Breast 12 is 70. Right. So this is a non age statement. We didn't even address that. I mean, good point. It's an NAS. I, I'm going to just say 55 is great. That's a steal. Yeah. 55. I, I was a little surprised when you said how much it went up. Mm hmm. What do you think of the orange packaging? I like it. It stands out on the shelf, too. It does too. stand out. Yep. That's what Catches your eye. It's very October-ish. But I like it. A little style edition. New style. New style. Traveling dummy. Mm -hmm. Ready for this one? Mm -hmm. You know we've been calling for was a mm -hmm. dummy coin at the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. We got it. We got it. Boom. Bam. It's up there. Coin. I can't Hotel. quite tell. 234, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. 134. I love it. The one glass man is in Paris, France mm, at the Eiffel Paris, Tower. Paris, Paris. Paris. Will he stop by Germany oui. at the Brandenburg Gate? I don't know. Should he? Yeah. Sorry, I'm calling for the Brandenburg. That's, That's great. a great one. Yep. I love the shot. Beautiful. Yep. Weather looks nice there. Mm. 
got the trees right in and we've actually there. well we've featured a couple of pictures from the one glass man he travels he's a, traveler. He's a world traveler one glass man traveling i think he was what was it wasn't he in spain also at one point and mm -hmm. um somewhere else too he's moving moving yep. around global movement love it all right check what out uh, scotchtestdummies.com for uh, our merchandise help right. us out help support the show we've got the uh, castry android coins you got the little uh helmet the spartan helmet dummy hat glasses Ooh, the, the glasses yeah, we showed that the hats. more stuff may be coming grab the hats well or the shirts may even be changed up by the time they see this but if not go on there Maybe. and check because there's some the, the the things that are on there have either recently changed or they're about ready to change the giveaway we did not talk Ooh. about for the glasses just yeah. comment uh, giveaway, what do you want? giveaway glass. or two offs. Say glass. glasses. Two offs. Two. They'll miss. Just say glass. Glass giveaway. You like that? Yep. Glass giveaway in the combat. Glass giveaway. Two off. Two off. Irish whiskey glass. And then uh, we'll do what we usually do, which is uh, we'll end up picking the winner in one of our live shows. So well, what we need to hash out is when this will see? air. We don't know because of the. Uh, exactly. Well, we're gonna. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Fill in time. I got a Boba Fett. I got a little Boba Fett shirt. Like he's in a workout gym. And he's, we're probably cutting this out. Unless you keep it in. I don't know. Okay, we got it figured out. This will air on May 5th. Cinco de Mayo. So you have until, we'll give you a week until May 12th to register. Yeah. And for, that's for a set of uh, two awe. Irish whiskey glasses. Boom. So you can win you a set. That's a set. Two worldwide. We ship worldwide. Woo. Crazy. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.